For my classroom at least, I've, uh, I'm a technology teacher and teach uh, tech processes and it brings to my students the ability to create something in their mind, to plan it out in a computer-aided design program and then actually hold it physically in their hands and to go through that process has been unbelievable for the kids to see it from beginning to end um, and actually get to hold the thing that they created. Um, I definitely think 3D printers are headed to every single school. Um, yeah, I know that uh, all the teachers I'm speaking to and all the students I'm talking to are excited about it. They want to get that in the hands of their students. Uh, any way we can get the technology into the hands of kids will eventually spread out to getting the technology to the, the homes. And uh, gosh, the, the applications for these things, you know, with uh, you know, engineering and design and medical and uh, you know, food design, all sorts of things that are coming through the 3D printers. I, I do see a time when 3D printers are going to be in every school and you know, it's, it's fun right now, I, I was uh, talking about a program that we're doing with the students where we're making rubber band race cars. And uh, the fun part for me is that it, it combines the, the math aspect of it, it combines the science aspect of it, and then it also combines the design aspect of it. Uh, I had some students who, until they started seeing everybody else's cars being printed out, were a little hesitant. And as soon as they started seeing what the other students were making and saw them actually being turned into three-dimensional objects, these kids jumped in feet first and, and were ready to go. They were so excited about it, they couldn't wait to uh, see their own project printing out on the 3D printers. And as soon as we got that 3D printer in the classroom and they saw it the first time, they couldn't wait to get to school the next day. And so it, it, I think for them, it became something where they were in here you know, constantly at lunchtime wanting to make things and print things out. And it gave them a, a desire to be at school where they might have been struggling uh, in other subject areas. But this, uh, this, this excited them and brought them into schools. Yeah, I definitely think it's been helpful. Yeah, you know, I mean, the sooner we can get the students working with these these tools, the, the better off they're going to be in life. Um, especially as we take a look at 21st century skills and we take a look at uh, the workplace in the future. Um, having the students, it, it, as soon as we can get this in their hands, experiment with it, uh, just makes them more comfortable with it. It, it, it gives them ideas and allows them to develop plans on how to use them as they get older. And uh, it, it opens up so many things. I mean, I, one of the things I love about technology is that if I can get this, this into the students' hands and just get five or six kids that are excited about it, those five or six kids, it may completely change their lives. So I think there's been a real change um, in education. I, I think we missed out on the opportunity to, to make three-dimensional objects unless we were actually using hammer and wood or gluing objects together to do that. And I just think it's such a, a great experience for our students now to be able to see things just, just come alive before their eyes. I mean, uh, develop instantaneously within, you know, well, within three hours. But watch things you know, be developed over uh, you know, a little bit of time. I think that's an incredible uh, gift that our students have that we, were, we missed out on.